looking at is the dust collection system on my CNC router and the vacuum has died. And I'm fairly certain it's a seized up bearing, but whatever it is, I don't care. I'm tossing the whole thing. We're regrouping. New vacuum. So I found this Dayton wall mount vacuum at one of the scrap yards I go to and it's really, really good industrial quality. It works, but it does have an issue. So you see that arcing inside there, that's not good. Uh, but it's probably something simple. Let's tear it apart and find out. So I think if we get a better look at those brushes, it might have some answers. Okay, and they're, they're actually looking good, and there's plenty of brush left. So I think if we just clean that thing up, that will solve the issue. And it's kind of a pain to get in there with a wire brush, but the Dremel should do pretty well. Now the right way to have done that would have been to disassemble the motor, clean it, turn the commutator, and regrind the brushes. But, uh, you know, sometimes down and dirty works, so we're going with it. Now that the vacuum's in place, we've got to rework some of the plumbing over there. One issue is the suction hose comes around the front, and there's the cabinet where I access the computer and all the other goodies I have inside there. And uh, I, I'm constantly fighting with this hose. So I need to run this hose on the other side. Now the reason I didn't do that initially was because of this emergency stop switch that I had put right there. And now I've reached a point where I have to move it because the theme baffle and the new vacuum cleaner are not going to fit in this space and still allow access to this switch. So this switch is going to have to move and all this is going to have to be reworked. And I think what I'll start with is just disassembling this and rerouting the plumbing the way it needs to be to uh, work with the new configuration. So the plumbing wasn't a big deal. I just need to install this larger elbow here so it will accept the larger hose for the, uh, for the canister back. And um, that's the fitting for the hose. It just so happens it will fit right into uh, that end and uh, that's next. With no center here for this, for this point to, to sink into, this thing just wants to walk all over the place. And the solution to that is to make a drill guide. And all that is, is another piece of wood with a hole in it, of the right size. And here I decided to make a brand new shelf for the uh, theme baffle because uh, the old shelf was actually going to be in the way of the new canister back.
And here I'm installing the new mounting plate for the emergency stop switch. I decided to go ahead and just drill into the frame of the router and uh, tap threads for 632 cap head screws. Since I can't hold this in place myself and reach from the back side to put the screws through, I'm just going to prop it there with a, a clamp and a heavy weight. So far so good. I got the Theme Baffle Dust Reservoir new shelf in place. That's plumbed up. The uh, emergency stop is wired in. All I need to do now is hang the new vacuum cleaner and wire it. Okay, so this here is the bracket that it hangs from and uh, this canister was equipped for an additional bracket but I think I'm just going to hang off the uh, motor and then when I, when I want to remove the canister, which is going to be pretty rare because the thing baffle catches everything anyway, um, I'll, just, I'll just let it hang. Anyway, so we need to take tracing off this and actually just folding the paper. Yeah, just folding the paper will give me the pattern. There it is. Now I need to make a receptacle that will uh, slide into that and uh, that should not be much trouble. Now that, that fits really well, and it's, it's level and everything, but see that sticks out too far, which means I'm going to need to space this off the uh, back panel that it's going to hang on. And uh, one way to do that would be to bend this out, put a little channel in there, that would be nice and professional, or I could just use some washers. That should do nicely. That is much more like it. And we'll just bolt this onto the uh, side of the cabinet over there and hang this thing and wire it up. This job will be done. All right, that's looking pretty good. We'll wire it up and test it. Okay, so here you have to turn the router and the vacuum on manually, but it's on one switch. <laughs> Well that turned out really well and I'm glad that that other vacuum died because I've actually been meaning to install that industrial vacuum for over a month. It's been hanging around the shop here taking up space. This system does provide a lot more suction but the fact of the matter is the, uh, the old vacuum provided more than enough to clean up all the dust anyway. I really don't understand these guys that get these one, two, and three horsepower dust collection systems with a four or six inch hose on them because this one with an inch and a half hose sucks up everything that the machine produces anyway. I don't see any reason to waste all that energy with a bunch of overkill. So that's all for this week. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click up here to see my last video. Click over here to see something of mine that YouTube thinks you'll like. And have a good one.